Well, hello there, amazing and wonderful nerdy people of YouTube. So I am going to throw some things at you guys out there, and I may angry some people that live in 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 a in a world where they they have a belief. Basically, I want to basically um, put down on some myth or some philosophies and stuff. If if that's even a thing, like it's it's. Let, let me just get into it. Uh, this is I I I read some couple of articles and and i've been researching this actually for a couple of years now because i'm interested in this and what are the pros and cons of having separate home partition and i think this article here kind of sums it up, up really really well so basically your home dash home or backslash home or what it's called folder is basically where you live in Th that's where all your config files are that's where your pictures are if you save them that's where your um fig files are and stuff like that so a, not a lot but back in the day it used to be like they recommended that you set up a separate home partition and nowadays it's kind of it's kind of like whatever you want kind of thing because all of this the way there where it was a massive pro where it was like a massive necessity to do it has kind of faded away most distribution nowadays have made it so they that it's not necessary to have your own home position and you don't get like massively benefits from it you don't get massively speed benefits you don't it's 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 like a, a little bit of a convenience to some extent i've heard people that have on separate home partition and have and do that because they basically install a lot of distribution, so they upgrade their base distribution a lot with no problems. And then I have had people talking about that they have a separate home partition, and every time they upgrade their distribution or they try a new distribution, something don't work, the config files start to conflict with each other, and blah, 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 blah. So here's the bottom line. Do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> That's basically it. If you want a separate home partition, do it. If you don't want a separate home partition, don't. But don't get pushed into making one. In the end, it's not that important. It really is not that important. So let, let's get in here. Uh, and this is the best answer here that they have found. And I don't know when this article is from, but it's kind of like, this is the consensus that or what people are talking about if you read uh, a lot of these articles here and, and you read like I said I've, I've read them on and off for years and and um, this is kind of what I have seen being what people are talking about or, or what the the consensus are that why to do it so the biggest pro in my opinion is that you can easily install a new Ubuntu version basically a new Linux version or any Linux distro for your architecture really so it, it saved your config files so let's say you you, you want to run you have Ubuntu GNOME installed and you have like extensions installed and you have uh, you have set it up, you know, the way you want it. Then you can technically, and this is where it sometimes works and it sometimes don't, you technically should be able to install Bedore uh, GNOME version and install that and it will remember all your settings, all your configurations and stuff like that. Like I said, I have had a 50-50 feedback with that when I've talked to people. Some say it works, some say it don't. And they say here without using your custom settings, configuration, downloads, etc. So also if you have a lot of pictures, a lot of downloads and stuff like that, it will be in there. Since such a st step usually involves wiping out the existing system to do boot position, you simply choose to preserve your home uh, backslash home in the partition you're doing install and you set it. It is also possible to do this with the, uh, the backslash home on your root partition, but it's a little more complicated. It also make resizing migrating a larger home position e easier. So if you want to either decrease the capability of your home position or you want to e uh, increase it, that should be a little bit easier if you need more space. It isn't going to affect the speed of file access much. Unless you tend to have a lot and lots of small files in your home directory. Example, if you are a developer, if you have lots of sources lying around they may affect all overall file access speed on the entire partition with some file system in that case go for separate home so either go for have your home on a separate hard drive or separate partition to speed up your access to if you to your development files or so, source files 
again, this is again this uh, what I hear a lot of people talking about. It's the configure easiness and easiness of configuration because in theory you should just be able to jump from distribution to distribution and keep your settings. Some say it works, some say it don't. I think it depends on what customization you have and how many customizations you have and so forth and so forth. And then again, if you are heavily development and stuff, basically, if you are not a, no a normal casual hobbyist user, it may make a difference. It may be a good idea. Example, if you work in a corporation where you do a lot of programming and stuff, if you just program your program here and there, let me put it this way. 99.9% .9 of the Linux YouTubers out there that say you should have a se separate home partition, they will not feel a speed different. What it will help them with is this one up here if they jump for a lot of distribution. It may help them keep their customizations. And it may not because, like I said, I've heard many people say that it breaks them. So there ain't any risk to making a separate home partition. And then he talks about here, like in this guy's place, uh, what he should do. And it, it's kind of what it, it's kind of this thing that I remember when, when I started out with Linux, it was like, yeah, you should make a separate home partition and you should make a separate boot partition. You should make a separate, was it the uh, slash war partition or something like that. And you should have a separate swap partition. Linux nowadays has been so advanced and optimized so much that the kernel don't see any speed difference between a, f a swap file or a swap partition. The only difference is that a swap partition is a little bit more expandable than a swap, or oh, sorry, swap file is way more expandable than a swap partition. So it's a lot easier to allocate more space to a swap file and to a swap partition, depending on how you set it up and how much extra hard disks you have laying around. The same with a home partition. So let's say you download a lot of movies, you download a lot of porn, you download a lot of, uh, um, I don't know, modeling blueprints for model planes that takes up gigs of gigs of space. It could be a good idea to have a separate home partition in case you want to, you know, change out your distribution once in a while. Most people, most people, like I said, 99% of the people that are using Linux as a hobby at home it makes no fucking different. It's just a convenience thing. If you change your distribution a lot, it could be a good idea, like I said, to, to keep your customizations. Again, it's in my experience and what I hear, it's kind of like sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. So if you hear someone that say, oh, you must have a separate home partition, that's fine. That's their preference. I see nothing wrong with it, but you should not be forced or think that, oh, I'm not doing Linux right if I'm not having a separate home partition. If you if you want to put home into one, your home and your root file system into one big fucking partition, like I have on my VMs here and also on my physical hard, uh, hard drive on my uh, machine, there's nothing wrong with that. I've not ran, me personally, I've not ran a, it's fucking long. I think like since two, th 2010 or 2009 was around it was around that time where i uh, i stopped doing separate home partition uh, either partitions or hard drives and i have not had any problem with it and that's both in vms and on physical hardware and it's the same with here with a lot of people if you want to take advantages or if you are like a distribution reviewer or stuff like that 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 jumps distributions a lot i could see a benefit for having your own home partition but for most people, I really don't. It's just, do you want it or don't you? Do you have a spare hard drive on, on, on? Do you want, like, let's say, another way where it could be beneficial is, like, let's say you put your um, your file system here. This is where all your programs will be installed and stuff like that. Let's say you want that on an SSD because you want it to open fast and stuff like that. That could be a good idea. And then you can have your home partition. Have that on a spinning 2 terabyte hard drive and stuff like that because you download a lot of things so you have a lot of pictures and stuff like that that makes a little bit sense but then i guess you're more or less not the norm because most people don't download that much and if they download that much they have a network storage or, or something like that or external hard drive they, they put that on to so you have to kind of see what your needs are to some extent but in general and for most people it's not necessary at all it will give you some small benefits if you are distribution reviewer and you jump distributions a lot, 
or if you like the guy said in this article here if you are using a lot of source files or have many many small files and stuff like that it could give you a little bit of performance uh, increase any linux youtuber i see out there right now they don't really need it if they do it that's fine and that they can do whatever they want but it's not like oh i have to do this or they have to do this you don't have to do it let me put it this way if you need a separate home partition you will already know because the, if, if you have this need to have a separate home partition or hard drive you will already know or you will easily figure it out and most people will not that's that's basically just what it is so don't get too caught up with this separate home partition or, or whatever it it's it's a thing that some do it's a little bit uh, relic from the past so to speak the same with a separate uh, swap partition it's it's a thing that a lot of us people that have been around long long i mean i'm saying long i mean a long time in the linux world we tend to do sometimes I, I do it once in a while also when i'm installing a vm just for fun's sake but it's really not that necessary for most people nowadays especially if you're just like a browser user meaning instagram facebook and then you download the odd pictures once in a while and and the the, the odd porn videos and whatnot it's not that necessary really it's not it's just a preference thing Anyway, I'm out of here. I hope this was a little bit interesting. See you all later. Bye-bye.